Well, parts of Marquette County are going to be getting a facelift. Plans are underway for the demolition of 11 structures in Ishpeming and Nagani. The project is part of a blight elimination program made possible through grant funding. TV6's Rebecca Himmelstein is live in Ishpeming with more on the program. Rebecca? Yeah, Sophie and Steve, this location here on Division Street is one of 11 buildings set to be demolished this summer. I spoke with the county treasurer as well as the Ishpeming city manager about what this means for the county and how this could be affecting your wallet. Eight residential and three commercial buildings in Ishpeming and Nagani will be demolished because of blight. Their condition is so bad that the cost of trying to renovate them far exceeds the demolition cost and we don't have the money to restore them. Nine of which are in the city of Ishpeming. And blight can happen for a number of reasons. Standing water in the basement, mold issues, some of them are partially burned, some of them are contaminated by methamphetamine. The total cost of the project? Just over $425,000. More than half of that comes from state grant money, the rest from local contributions. We're eliminating blight, we're improving neighborhoods. I mean, our whole goal is to increase the property values in the county. That's kind of what we're here for. And this city is starting to move forward and make progress and seeing new businesses and seeing improvements. And why should we let these buildings that are in bad shape drag everybody down? For nearby residents, that means a more attractive neighborhood and better value for your home. Each one of these blighted buildings that we take down will help bring the property value for the surrounding buildings up to the benefit of those property owners. Projects in their place aren't yet determined, but priority is given to the neighboring owners. A lot of these neighborhoods are really looking at trying to remove these blighted structures in between other owner-occupied structures. It creates an opportunity for the adjoining property owners to maybe have a larger yard, build a garage. This building behind me is likely to be the first to be demolished here in a few weeks, but that's after all of the locations receive lead and asbestos testing. And now uh, the project in its entirety should be complete, likely by the next snowfall. Reporting live in Ishpeming, Rebecca Himmelstein, TV6 News. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, Rebecca.